welcome guys let's learn bls bls is very very important uh, technique that you need to use to save life it is very very important procedure this is a basic life sport and indications are when the patient is not responding and uh, the patient is not breathing that is a bls i'm going to teach you about the adult bls it is uh, different from the pediatric we'll talk about that in a different tutorial now in the adult bls you need to know how to perform the cpr okay or uh, how to provide the support to the patient the indication for that is as i told you before when the patient is not responding the patient is not breathing these are the two points that you need to look for you may find any patient lying on the floor maybe on the road maybe in the hospital so in different setting wherever you need wherever you you see any patient who is not responding and not breathing this is where you need the bls and to start the bls it is important that there are few things that you need to do check the patient's uh, response how we can do it i'm going to show you okay um on a mannequin start by checking the response and check the airway is patent or not is the patient breathing or not if the patient is not breathing the patient needs a bls and call the 999 and shout for the help at the same time if you are alone okay i'm going to show you simply on a mannequin so that you understand better okay let's move to the mannequin this is uh, a mannequin say for example this is a, a patient who you found on the floor there is no response you shout for the patient if you know shout their name if you don't then you can say hello 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 okay try to get the response and shake the patient properly hello 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 if the patient is not responding to you then you look for the airway obstruction before you do all of this it is important you look for the safety the patient safety as well as the safety of yourself the floor is not slippery there is no wire tangled around and there is no other danger do not move the patient moving the patient should be the last thing because the patient may have a c spine injury that is very very important point in this if you find that there is any danger try to say for example the patient was on road try to put the warning signs or ask someone to help you and block the road instead of moving the patient from uh, the road to somewhere else because the patient may die if the patient has a c spine injury those are the important points no after confirming that there is no danger okay then you check the response from the patient by shaking the patient hello hello if you do not get any response look into the airway by head tilt chin lift tilt the head backwards slightly and lift the chin up and now look listen and feel for 10 seconds bring your mouth closer to the patient at the same time look listen and feel you're looking for the chest wall movement listening the breathing and feeling the warm of the breath so these are the important points where you can determine whether the patient is breathing or not you should not spend more than 10 seconds if there is no response simply put your hand on the chest of the patient and start the cpr make sure that you shout for the help and if any help arrives if someone comes to help you ask them if they are bls trained so that you can get the help you can put the phone on the louder after dialing 999 and tell them clearly that you found a patient who is not responding and not breathing and continue the cpr the way how you perform the cpr is put your one hand the dominant hand on the chest and the other hand with the interlocking fingers on the chest with your elbows straight lock them properly and shift you transmit your weight onto the chest at a speed of about 100 to 120 and the depth should be at least one third of the entire depth of the chest that is about 5 to 6 cm and you need to give them 30 to 2 30 chest compressions and two rescue breaths now say for example i found this patient he is not responding not breathing i'm going to start the cpr interlocking my fingers palms straight and elbow straight and start the cpr 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, up to 30. Continue up to 30, then you come and give two rescue breaths. And continue the CPR until the help arrives, or the patient recovers, or you are tired. And this is all about BLS. It is very, very important that you understand the patient may get the shock, the spinal shock, if the patient has a C-spine injury, or the patient may die if you move them. It is important to get the help on time and call the ambulance and tell them clearly about where you are located. A few other points. If you are in the hospital, you need to call 2222. If you are in the community, you need to call 999. That's all about it. And do not worry about checking the pulse in the BLS. Thank you.